welcome to my thoughts while standing in the queue. The other day, I was standing in the queue at a restaurant waiting to get to a table so I could finally eat my dinner, when I thought how lovely it would be if we could all have a second chance at the things that happened to us, the disasters. For example, not long ago, I was singing my heart out at a local bar uh, doing a show that I had done 500 times, and I forgot the words to all the songs. As I looked at that audience with their eyes brimmed with pity, willing for me, willing me to please think of some of the words and to at least get through this agonizing uh, performance, I thought how lovely it would be to just shut my eyes and this whole disastrous tragedy and escape to an island where nobody understood English and I could sing my songs without fear of their knowing that nothing rhymes and nothing was in tune. And then again, uh, I remember a time not too long ago when I was doing comedy and I was standing looking at a bunch of very upscale people uh, who looked at me as if to say, why does she have such a dirty mouth? She's not funny she is equivalent to a sleeping pill. And as I sat there trying desperately to make them laugh, I thought to myself, wouldn't it be marvelous if I could escape to a place where no one understood what I was saying and I could leave these Botoxed people with their four-in-one ties and their expensive dresses and just talk to a bunch of people in the inner city who would laugh at anything just because I'm old and funny. All those things didn't happen. I have to say that my life is a series of one humiliation after another. And it would be very lovely if I would take a lesson from a woman named Petra Schneider. When she was 21, she um, was invited to a party and she decided she didn't want to go. So instead of going to the party, she took a train to Dusseldorf and disappeared for 21 years brave Petra Schneider. I would like to do the same thing when I'm confronted with these horrible, horrible uh, incidents that make me wish I could disappear into a hole in the ground. And for example, the next time that I trip as I go into the bus and fall at a young man's feet, I'm not going to apologize and say to him, yes, I'm fine. I'm going to let him pick me up, take him in my arms, and 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 give him a hug and a kiss to thank him. And maybe something else wonderful will happen. However, if I land at the feet of an old man, I'm just going to stay there. I have a better chance of survival. And thank you so much for joining me in my thoughts while standing in the queue.